All right, we had a student submitted question. How much potassium chloride and oxygen can be made from 100 grams of KClO3? Well, if you're asking how much can be produced, you're going to need a balanced chemical equation and you're going to need to convert to moles. The balanced chemical equation in this case is potassium chlorate decomposing into potassium chloride and oxygen. But to balance it, we need twos in front of each of these, and we need a three in front of the oxygen. We now have a balanced chemical equation. We start with 100 grams of KClO3. How many moles is that? Well, the number of moles is the mass divided by the molar mass. Now, I don't know the molar mass of potassium chlorate right off the bat, but I can figure it out by adding up the molar mass of potassium. That's 39.098. With the molar mass of chlorine, that's 35.45. And three oxygens, which gives me 122.5 grams per mole. So here we go. The number of moles of potassium chlorate that we have, since we start with 100 grams and we the molar mass is 122, is 0.816 moles. Now, it's going to disappear completely. Two moles of it will react to give two moles of this. So however many of these we get rid of, we make the exact same number of these. If we react 0 0.0816 0 moles of these, we're going to end up with 0.816 moles of potassium chloride as well. Now for oxygen, it's a little tougher. We're going to make 0.816 moles of oxygen, but actually a little more. See how two turn into three here? What we do is we multiply by a mole ratio. We divide by the number of moles of the thing we started with, and we multiply by the number of moles of the thing we're asking for. We actually end up with 1.5 times as much oxygen as we started with of KCl. So I'm going to do times three divided by two, and we end up with 1.224 moles of oxygen. Notice this is a two to three ratio and this is a two to three ratio. Now if you wanted to convert each of these to grams you could multiply by the molar mass. Uh, this student it was asked in moles how much of it was made so we're gonna leave it here. But again if you wanted mass multiply by the molar mass. Best of luck.